up this Zebo and welcome to today's video. So Zebo has been away for quite a few days for my short break from uh, YouTube as well as my personal stuff. So in today's video, we're going to run through another unit along the theme of a uh, break, right? And that is none other than Summer Innkeeper Lorraine. So Innkeeper Lorraine is probably one of the hottest lady unit in the game so far. And in today's video, we're going to see whether or not her hotness translates to equal power level in Garden Tales Global Server. And without further ado, let us see how worthy is Summer Innkeeper Lorraine potentially. Summer Innkeeper Lorraine is voted the hottest training women by Summer Focus, which is the same magazine that covered Sohi last year. While she said this ranking is meaningless, a testimony by a maid android suggests that a mysterious album with the Summer Focus article on Lorraine can be found inside her room. So Lorraine works without rest and always greet adventurers with a smile, but she yearned for a break for quite a bit. So when she decided to go on a vacation, she designed the amusement android for fire works a72 and specially ordered a swimsuit from Amazon to wear it for this special occasion so after the aa72 incident in a short story she returned to heaven hole from vacation and established a duty hands-off procedure for androids various improvements in different fields such as enhanced hands-off procedure additional monitoring system were added to prevent such incident from happening again as there was a massive stats change due to the changes to awakening nodes for various heroes and the lack of time on my side to actually arrange for all these stats changes i cannot present to you guys the data for the hero rankings in terms of stats for summer innkeeper lorraine however based on initial observation we can observe that she has way above average attack defense as well as hp so her attack rivals that of aa72 the likes of orca and even mark 2 which are all top hitters within the game itself her defense is also pretty high above bath akayuki as well as a few others low defense unit as for her hp is not really the highest but at least is within the top 20 range in terms of the HP distribution. So overall, we can see that her stats distribution is pretty high above average and she has a party buff of range damage plus 50% with a 5% shield increase on battle start, a skill damage plus 6% as well as a 1% HP recovery on enemy kills. The normal attack deployment orders is pretty straightforward. It's basically a range attack that allows her to summon androids to inflict damage on the opponent. So this attack is able to pass through walls but not terrains and has a really really long attack range. Now similar to her normal attack, her chain skill devastation bin simply deals 360% DPS to the target. So this is an AOE damage skill which means that if a lot of enemies is crowding around the area that the target is being aimed at, then they'll also take the damage from this skill as well. Lauren's special ability, protection orders, allows her to create a shield with 10% of damage inflicted by her normal attacks so this part of her special ability works a little bit like bath and it also allows her to increase damage dealt to enemies by 10% and decreases damage taken by 10% during battle while the shield is in effect it also increases the damage dealt by her to the enemies by 20% and reduces the damage taken by 20% so the more shield Lorraine has the stronger she becomes now moving towards her EX weapon, I think it's a pretty straightforward one. It's a must for Lorraine because it allows her to increase her critic chance up to 30%. And if you're able to hit the 30% crit hit chance buff, you're able to get a crit hit multiplier buff as well, which effectively increases her overall damage. At the same time, the EX weapon skill March of Gnomes deals 245% DPS damage with a decent regen time of 9.2 seconds. So Lorraine's kit is pretty straightforward, deal damage, stack up her crit hit chance, and then increase her damage and then shoot you down as fast as possible. So moving towards the Colosseum side, we do not see a lot of Summer Innkeeper Lorraine as her abilities are pretty self-centric. She doesn't really offer much for the team except for dealing massive damage on her own. So if you compare her to the likes of Lina, Kamel, Future Princess, with the ability to attack multiple targets or have one-hit crowd controls, she's not as strong. And if you compare her to the likes of Mark 99, she doesn't have the basic range support and Nari isn't a good Colosseum unit there as well. So overall, she's kind of lacking in the Colosseum and to be really honest, I don't 
don't see her making a strong appearance in the future because there's just a lot of other good basic units which are a lot better in the Colosseum such as the likes of Captain Idol Eva as well as Swimsuit Sohi herself. Now moving towards the arena side, I do not have her EX weapon to fully test her potential. However, from what I can observe, I think she's a pretty straightforward unit, right? Just attack your enemy, gain shield and then try to sustain for as long as possible and then chain them whenever possible. You can call her a ranged version of Beth in arena and I think that's not even an understatement. Pretty pretty boring unit in my honest opinion but yeah she definitely serves her job as a very strong ranged attacker when she's released. Now moving towards the PvE discussion, I think Lorraine is definitely a usable PvE unit with her massive damage output. So she's good to a certain extent for raid purposes right now when she's initially released. However, as defense reduction, elemental resist down as well as other debuffs and buffs becoming increasingly important for good raid, Lorraine's kit might not last that long within good raid itself. And unlike Beth, Lorraine's ability does not perform well with huge crowds of enemies, so she won't be as good as Beth in the likes of Orbital Lift nor Camazon Land, which is quite a shame, but Lorraine's self-sustained ability is definitely up there and she's an easy to play unit, especially for the beginners. Below are some reasons to pull or invest in Summer Innkeeper Lorraine. So how worthy is Lorraine potentially? Personally, I think Lorraine is a filler unit with something bigger coming out to the game really soon, such as um, Kadem, right? So Lorraine is definitely a unit that can dish out massive damage in a 1v1 setting, which makes her usable and strong within the arena game mode. However, in terms of versatility, she's not the best, she doesn't fit into a lot of teams and she doesn't really have a buff for the team which makes her flexible in terms of game modes. So that's why I think she's kind of meh all round other than arena and yes she's very very stats dependent because if you do not deal enough damage to keep her shield regeneration going she will lose the attack buff as well as damage reduction buff on her special ability which in terms allows her or rather makes her less useful by lowering her efficiency nonetheless i'm pretty sure most of you guys will still pull for her for other reasons which i shall not state explicitly here and that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in and I hope this video is helpful in terms of allowing you to decide whether or not you want to pull for Summer in Keeper Lorin. although I think most of you guys will still go for her. And thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe in order to see more videos from the channel and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys!